There you go, young man. There's the police. And the radio's in there. Brilliant. And you get your first pick up in ten minutes. She was right, though, wasn't she? No matter what I say, Ian's going to take her aside. Yeah, but Ian's not stupid. I mean, he's bound to know she's trying it on. Where Cindy's concerned, Ian's never been anything but stupid. Yeah. Have you had a chance to talk to him on your own? Yet? No. I thought I'd see him later today. Mm. What would he say when you do? Listen, I can say, isn't The minute I say a word against her, he's going to turn on me. I know it. Then maybe it's best that you don't say anything. Well, it's easier said than done. No, I mean it. You know what it's like. You give her enough rope, probably she'll hang herself. As long as she lets me kick the chair away, we will probably have to sell tickets. <laughs> right, Doc. Hello, Miss John. Here, do you know what? It says here that there's a man in Bolton Regis what's invented some sort of machine what'll grow air. Oh? Well, it's electric, you see. You put this cap on your head, and then you plug it in, and it... That's right, yes, it flagellates the follicles to facilitate growth. Mm. Sounds oh. painful. Mm. And dangerous. There's a picture of this bloke here. Not hair on his head two weeks ago. Now, he's like Shirley Temple. Mm, I think it's a wind-up, Doc. A what? A joke. No, it can't be me, Shells, in the paper. No, but what's the date on the paper? March the 31st. Hey? It's yesterday's why. Oh, no reason. Mm. Not a college today, then? No, I've got loads of things to do, and I've got a friend from college coming round to look at the house. Oh, yeah? I think she's just coming round for a nose, though. Mm. I've got to find someone soon. What for? Well, the agreement with Rachel is that I can stay there as long as I can pay the mortgage every month, and I can't oh. do that on my own. Oh. I'm surprised that Nigel hasn't mentioned it. Well, we did, come to think, the other night. Oh? Yeah, but I said I couldn't think of no one, you know, not offhand. I'll let you know if I do. Oh, right. Mind you. I mean, good lodgers, they're hard to come by. I mean, my Nigel ain't been a bit of bother, not since he moved in. Well, nothing to speak of. Mm. And is he regular? I mean, with his rent? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I could go back to living on my own again. Oh, it's been a new lease of life for me, you know, having someone to come home to. Yeah. yeah but what about Nigel, though, Doc? Well, what about Nigel? You know, he's a young bloke. He's going to want to move on sometime. Oh, you mean if you got married or something? Yes, well, I mean, apart from that, I mean, no one would look after him like I would, would they? No, I suppose not. No. Just hope you're as lucky as I am, having someone like my Nigel. So what's she like then, Miss Cindy? Well, she's all Morning, right. Morning, I just thought I'd bring uh, Cindy in to show her around. Uh, Steve, this is my wife, Cindy. This is uh, Steve, my head chef. Pleased to meet you. Hello. So, what do you think? It's very nice. Yeah. Is it all right if I get on? Yeah, you carry on, mate. Bye. Right. Me and Cindy used to work together back in the beginning, didn't we? <laughs> in fact, all this started from the calf. We were quite a team, weren't we? I bet. Want a cup of coffee? I don't mind. Yeah. Hattie, do us a favour. Rustle us up some coffees, will we? Today, preferably. Hey, Go on, sit yourself down. She doesn't like me. Hey, yeah, Hattie. Yeah, don't be so daft. I can tell. She's just a bit moody at times. That's all, little pals. Besides, you're my wife, and if Hattie or anybody else doesn't like you, they can lump it. What time do you think you'll be back? So, so, I'm I understand, I suppose. I feel like I've been thinking of Grant's bail. How much will it be? So I'll cover it. No, but I think that I... I said I saw it. Won't affect him, will it? Me not being there, I mean, it won't make things worse for him. So I'll say that. Probably not. I don't to do when he gets back. I mean, I want to do what's right, but... Phil, I know you think I should go with you, but I can't. Why not? Well, they talk about it, won't they? The argument before the police came. Yeah, probably. And what if they start asking questions about what it's like living with him? I'd be a grown reporter. Yeah, well, like I said, Sharon, it's down to you. Then why have you got this awful habit of making me feel guilty? I didn't know I was. You know I'm frightened of him coming back. Yeah, I know, Chad. I mean, what do you want me to do, eh? And the keys is my brother. Yeah, which means I'll always come second. Which means I have to be there for him when he needs yeah, me. Yeah, and what about me? Well, right now, he needs me more. And when he gets back? 
don't know. Steve wants to know if he should start with the pizza and order when he's finished. Where is he? In the kitchens. Oh, I'll better go down and see him, hadn't I? You'll be what you want? Of course. Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Thanks again for last night. It's all right, I'm getting quite used to Ian's little surprises. So you worked here a long time then? About a year. Do you like it? Hardly say no, can I? No, I suppose not. So you run the office? Yeah, I used to work as a waitress and then the Ian asked me to come and work in here. Oh, you seem to have done really well for yourself. I'm not the only one. Meaning? Nothing. If you've got something to say, Hattie, I'd rather you just came out and said it. Well, it's hardly my place, is it? No, it's not. But if there's something bothering you, maybe I can talk to Ian about it. No, there's nothing bothering me. Good. All right, where were we? You two been getting on okay? Oh, yes. I think me and Hattie understand each other very well. Yeah, good. Because from now on, we'll be seeing a lot more of each other. I brought me references. Look, I only said I'd think about it, Nigel. Of course, but I, I was thinking, well, if you were looking for a third person, I could look at them with you, you know, make sure we're compatible. Compatible? Yeah. Look, I'm sure I've explained this to you before, but I'll try again. I, I really want to share with women. Yeah. Not men. Very wise. Let me put it another way. I'm going to let out two rooms, and I thought about putting a woman in each. That's very liberating of you. I don't mind sharing. Now, what I mean is they get a room to themselves. Three bedrooms, three women. So, where do I sleep, then? You don't. Hey? Look, all I said was that if I couldn't find anybody else, and that if I was about to be thrown in jail for unpaid bills, and Dot's house got hit by a hurricane, then I'd think about letting you a room. Oh, thank God for that. For a minute there, I thought you were giving me the brush off. <laughs> no, it's not just to do with Dot, you know. Sorry, oh. I'm late. Had to wait 20 minutes for a bus. I saw right. Come in, okay. come in. Oh, hello. Um, Nigel, this is Shelley. Shelley, this is Nigel. Very pleased to meet you. Nigel was just leaving. Was I? Yes, you were. Listen, don't rush off on my account. Oh, all right, then. then. Well, I really want to show Shelley around the house, you know. Yeah, good idea. Let's start in the kitchen. Uh, Shelley, can you cook? Make sure you're going to be OK. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, look, I'll meet you back at the flat at lunchtime. The babysitter's getting there about 12. So if you haven't spent all your money, you can buy me lunch. It's a date. Mm -hmm. Bye. See you later. Sanj, if these rails come out any further, we're going to have to smear Vaseline on the punters to get them past. It I don't want them past. I want them to start right here. Yeah, well, some of the lads up top have started to scream, so can we move them both back? All right, darling. I've got just the thing for you in my van. I bet you have. Yeah, have you? You must be uh, 10, right? 12, and I'm skint. Oh, you're skint. Well, in that case, I think the store you're looking for is down there. Well, I'm looking for Kathy's Cafe. Kathy's Cafe. Oh, that sounds familiar. That's around here somewhere, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's Bridge Street, isn't it? Well, where's that, then? Um, From here. It's, um, it's left at the top. No, right. Right. Yeah, that's it, right. Right. Yeah, then the left. Well, Geezer at the book, he said it was up here. Kathy's Cafe. Yeah. Have you, uh, have you tried in there? Oh, yeah, very funny. I hope all your gear gets mixed on the way home. I think she likes me. Hey, you'll get yourself into trouble. Hey, now she will get me into trouble any time she likes. Sorry, mate. She's out of your league. What? And not out of yours, I suppose. No such animal. <laughs> Hello again. We met in the Vic last night. Oh, yeah. You with Kathy? Yeah, that's right. Oh. I heard she had a new fella. Oh, I'm not a fella. We're just, uh, we're just mates. Oh, yeah. You seem to have caused quite a stir around here. Me? Well, there must be somebody you haven't upset, but I've not found him yet. Maybe he's not looking hard enough. Always good to have your old friend kicking about. I'm sure it is. Hey, if you're in the Vic this dinner time, I'll buy you a drink if you like. Yeah, that'd be nice. He's feeling really flush. You can buy me us on one as well. I'm meeting him there. Oh, and I don't do washing up on account of my hands, you see. And I can't have nothing to do with onions, neither, because my boyfriend's allergic to them. and breaks out in zits. But I don't mind pouring tea or making sandwiches, as long as there's no onions. And I don't mind a bit of cooking, as long as it's nothing fancy. And what would you call fancy? I don't know, really. I can do eggs all right, but my omelettes always go wrong. They have a stick to the pan or they break as I'm trying to get them out. Uh, you working anywhere at the moment? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. No, I had a job in the new hairdressers in Canal Street, just sweeping up on that, you know, but I didn't like it. How long were you there for, then? Only the morning, but you could tell what it was going to be like. 
Right. Well, as you can probably understand, I've got other people to see. Of course, yeah. And I can't start till Tuesday, because I'm helping my mum move over the weekend. <laughs> and I'll be knackered on Monday. Right. Well, uh, I'll bear that in mind. Is that it, then? Yeah, I think so. Don't you want to ask me nothing? No. Uh, I think you've told me everything I need to know. Right. Well, I'll wait to hear from you, then, yeah? Yeah. I could give you a ring tomorrow. Well, no, no. Well, what I mean is I'll call you. Uh, maybe a couple of days, though. Right, well, see ya. Bye. Oh, you found it, then. How's it going? Don't ask. She's the second one I've had in this morning. The pair of them couldn't boil a leg between them. Are well, you sure you're not setting your sights too high? I mean, cafe assistant is hardly going to attract the creme de la creme, is it? All I want is someone who can do bacon and eggs without burning the place down. Yeah, well, like I said, you know, don't set your standards too high. Uh, you're going to have the Vicar's dinner time? I can't, can I? I'm stuck in here on my own. Ah, oh, well, never mind. I'll have one for you. Oh, thanks very much. Pleasure. What I thought we'd do is uh, just split all the bills down the middle and come up with some sort of rotor for housework. You know? OK, yeah, sounds fair to me. Great, so it's just the three of us, is it? Hey, eh? You, me and Nigel? Yeah. No. No, it's, um... It's just the two of us. But I thought... No. Uh, no. Uh, you see, I haven't quite decided if it's right for me yet. I've still got a few other places to check out. Oh. This is it. So, uh, so what do you think? When can I move in? Really? Yeah, it's perfect. The only thing that worries me is what I'm going to do in all the space. Oh, that's no problem. I'm sure we can't do something. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure you will. Right, I'll, uh, I'll leave you both to it then. I'll speak to you later about the room, Michelle. I'm sure you will. Shelley, very pleased to meet you. Maybe we could, um, you know, I mean, once you've settled in, like... You never can tell. Brilliant. I mean, great. Right, uh, I'll see you both later. Yes, see you later, Nigel. <laughs> I think I'm gonna like it living round here. <laughs> Let me go and oh, get that. Stay there, I'll get it. You stay there. Can I come in? I don't want to argue, Pat. I'm not in the mood. Me neither. So they'll uh, just be you and me here, yeah? That's right, yeah. Um, have you ever worked in a cafe? No, I used to cook once. Uh. Oh, well, that's a start. Is Ian not here? No, he's gone back to work. Come through. Oh, and he groaned. I can't get over the size of him. It's been ages since you've seen him. Yeah, well, Simon did send me a photo, but that was over a year ago. On his birthday. You sent it. Thanks for that, Cindy. He's your grandson. I spoke to Ian yesterday. I heard. Is it true what he said? About Simon leaving you, I mean? It wasn't all his fault. He tried, but nothing seemed to go right. Come on, him. Cindy, you don't have to make excuses for him. I don't want you to think bad of him, Pat. What, walking out on his kid? Oh, I brought him up better than that. Yeah, well, like I said, it wasn't all his fault. You know, you, you could have come to me. I'd have helped you. I managed. And Ian? It's been good to me. Do you know what you're doing? What? Coming back to Ian. I think so. You think I'm using him, don't you? I know what everyone's saying, but it's not true, Pat. I love him. He, he's always been there for me. And is that enough? It's enough for me. And Ian? You have to ask him that. Do you know where Simon is? No. He sent some money for a while, but I haven't seen or heard from him for ages. You? We're happy for you to see Stephen. Me and Ian, we've talked about it. Thank you. But there's something I want in return. If Simon comes looking for me, I don't want you to tell him where I am. He's got as much right to see the kid as I am. Well, he should have thought about that before he went. I mean it, Pat. I don't want him round here causing trouble. All right. All right. I promise I won't say anything until I've spoken to you first. Okay. Okay. 
we better get reacquainted then. Put the kettle on. What you got there? Can then have a look. That's a oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, look, I, I have got other people to see, so I, I'll be in touch. Maybe I could do a little something for you now, yeah? Uh, no, I, I don't think so. Pardon? Just finish your tea, all right? I wonder how long it would take you to show your face in here. You saw me last night. I could hardly talk to you then, could I, with her there? I take it by her, you mean Cindy? Who else do you think I mean? Mum, I, I was going to come round and tell you, but... Well, everything happened so fast. Well, you're telling me. Well? All you've ever said is that you want me to be happy. I do, yeah, but... Yeah, well, I am. And it'd be nice if you could be pleased for me. If you can't, then look, don't ruin it like you did last time. I love Cindy, and this is what I want. No, it's obvious I'm not going to change your mind. No, you're not. If you were about anybody else other than my mum, I wouldn't even let you try it. Look, this is the end of it, right? You see me, you see me wife, well, you can either get used to that or... Or what? Mum, you don't want to know the answer to that. Mrs. Beale? I've come about the job. What time are you back? I don't know. My heart jumps every time the doors open. This is your home. You've got nothing to be frightened of. Yo, if he blames me for everything. If he ain't started having a go Let's at him, Miss Shane. Everything that's happened to him, he's bought it on himself. Yeah. I've got to go. I've got um, someone waiting. You remember Shelley from college, don't you? Oh, yeah. Hi. Hi. Right, you're going to be OK? Yeah. Oh, Michelle, you haven't seen Clyde on your travels, have you? No. Why? He's late. Well, do you want me to go over there and see where he is? No, don't worry. I'll give him ten more minutes. Okay. Hey. You all right? Yeah, fine. I'm... <laughs> So it wouldn't be any problem then, you know, with the cooking? No, I love cooking. Oh, great. And we could just start whenever you like. All I'm doing is sitting at home all day. That's when I'm not going backwards and forwards to the job shop. That's great. Uh, excuse me a minute. It's all right, I'll do it. Hey? That's if you don't mind. No, no, you carry on, go on. Yes, love. Hey? What can I get you? Uh, a cup of tea. Please? Please. One tea coming up. So between us, we've got to come up with 80 quid a week um, to pay the mortgage. So I just thought we'd split it 50-50. No. What? 50-30. Um, sorry, I can't afford that. No, I mean, I'll pay the 50. Eh? Look, I'm paying 53 quid a week at the halls of residence. Does that mean you're paying more? It's not fair. Yeah, but I haven't got a kid to look after, Michelle. And besides, it is your house. Well, it's Rachel's, actually. Listen, I don't care whose it is. So can I move in? Look, I don't care, Frank. I was half an hour late and Sean went mad. I know, son, I know. And you've got every right to be able to say, well, come on, you know, there's no damage done. No damage? I had a punter in the back when it broke down. I had to ask him to help me push it. Clyde, you should have called in, son. And the flaming radio didn't work, did it? Yeah, uh, probably knows a bit of a fine tune. Mm, that's what you said about the motor. Yeah, listen, all that motor car needs is a good service. I've got Ricky looking at it now. Yeah, that's not the point. I wasted a whole morning for nothing. So, listen, when Ricky's finished with that motor, it'll run like a dream, and I'll tell you what, I'll fix a radio myself before you take it out again. How about that? You'll have to do better than that. All right, I'll put you at the top of the call list for the rest of the week. First refusal on every job. And away, first payment on your car, but that's it. Okay, but it better be right. I mean it too. The staff a hard time, are we, Frank? Perish the thought, young lady. Just a bit of business, that's all done. Yeah, well, if this business makes him late again, I might have to start giving the punters another cab firm's number. Staying on me it won't happen again. Yeah, back. well, it better not. Jump, jump. Who's on ground? Uh, Phil's gone to sort out his bail. Shall I be back then, will you? Uh, sorry, Frank, I'm a bit pushed. Yeah. Phil and Grant back yet? Yeah? Uh, no, not yet, Nigel. Uh, uh, girls, mm. do you want a drink? Uh, no, thanks. There you go. Cheers, Shane. Thanks. <clears throat> What's this then? First house meeting? Something like that. Yeah. 
Yeah, we've just decided that we're going to decide everything on a fair vote. Oh, good idea. Nothing like a bit of democracy to thought things out. Exactly. And we've just had our first vote, and you'll be pleased to know it was unanimous. Oh, good for you. Yeah, we were voting on whether we could afford to keep the house by ourselves. Mm, without anybody else. You see, that way Vicky gets to keep her room. And it was unanimous? I'm afraid so. Oh, well, it's not the end of the world, is it? Isn't it? No, oh, man, I'm only over the road, aren't I? No reason for me to be a stranger, is there? Cheers. I'm telling you, he's going to have a work in there before we know it. And what about the kid? I don't know, they'll just get a nanny or something. Maybe they'll ask you to babysit for him again. It ain't funny, Steve. Look, I'm sorry, but don't you think you might be going just a bit over the top? No, I don't. I mean, all this stuff about him and Cindy starting out together, being such a great team. I mean, why else do you think you're showing other books, eh? There goes Steve. Cheers. Well, so she really put you in your place, did she? Cheeky little man. <laughs> I thought at one point she was going to make me wash up my cup when I finished with it. Well, it's about time we had a bit of new stuff at the cafe. Don't I, I shall tell Cathy you said that. Yeah, you know what I mean. And she's too young for you. You speak for yourself, mate. I'm still in my prime. <laughs> I'm telling you. Hey, yeah, buy man. your beds, buy your beds. Oh, Blondie's back. What do you want? Uh, I'll go on, please. Tough luck, fine. Want love, please, Sharon? Right. I'll be back in a minute. Just back in a minute. All right. For a minute there, I thought you changed your mind. Oh, sorry to disappoint you. No, I'll survive. My life's scattered with disappointment. You surprise me. I imagine you'll take some surprising. Yeah, uh, bottom tonic, please, Sharon. Right. Uh, 160. Eh? Hey? Be one pound sixty. Yeah, right. You all right? Yeah, fine, thanks. Cheers, catch on. Mum? All right. Didn't see you come in? No, so I gathered. Okay. What were you talking to her for? I wasn't talking to her. Huh? Well, that's funny, because you were looking at it and your lips were moving. I was just having a quiet word with her. Oh, is that what you call it? If you must know, I told her that if she comes between you and Ian, she's going to have me to deal with as well. Oh. Yeah. Oh. What do you think I was doing? Do you think I was chatting her up or something? No, of course not. You know, I worry about you sometimes. Look, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know what to think, did I? Yeah, what well, do you do now? Yes. I'm really sorry, all right? Let's just figure it out. All right, so just say Ian has got this master plan. There's not that much either of us can do about it, is there? Oh, so what are we supposed to do? Just sit back and let him do what he likes? You're the only one who's saying he's going to do anything. Oh, so don't tell me I'm being stupid, am I? I never said that. Well, you haven't said anything. Look, I'd agree with you if he'd said or done at least one thing, but he hasn't. So I say just wait until he does, then at least we'll know for sure. Well, he ain't gonna just let us know, you know. Look, you said yourself, you won't just give Cindy your job straight off. You'll just start bringing her in a little. Yeah, and that mean you train her like a couple of idiots. Well, if we see that start to happen, we'll do something about it. Oh, yeah, like what? I don't know, but all I know is without us, he hasn't got a meal machine. So whatever happens, if we stick together, he can't do anything, can he? I better get back. I told Sue I'd only be ten minutes. Taking her on, then? Not yet. But you will? Oh, so she gets on first. Taking a bit of a risk, aren't you? When I mean, you've only known her five minutes and you've left her in charge. I'm not completely stupid, you know. I took all the notes out of the deal first. You are learning. <laughs> anyway, must be all right. I've got uh, the fire engines, yeah? yeah? Well, after some of the people I've seen today, that's more than I'll dare out for, I tell you. <laughs> Listen, I'll, I'll see you later, then. Yeah. And, uh, I'm sorry about before, you know, I'm seeing you. Not important. Yeah. Having a bit of hassle, are we? Nothing I can't handle. Sorry, I know I said it'd only be ten minutes. Oh, it's okay. Enjoyed it. Well, it looks like you coped all right. I was dreading someone asking me for chips. Hey? Eh? I tell her to work the fryer. Oh, don't worry. I'll teach her to do that. It's easy once you know how. Oh, and you owe me a fiver. What for? Well, I need to change. And there's no notes in the till, so I use one of my own. Oh, right. Well, I'll get you one. Don't worry. I trust you. Thank you. It was lovely just to see you. That was a very nice thing I seen it for you, you know? I can't believe how big he's grown. He's talking and all. Of course, he didn't know who I was, not really, but he soon will. I was thinking of buying him something, taking him around there. Oh, just hang on a minute here. What? You're not going broody on me, are you? Well, what if I am? Well, for one thing, it means the knitting needles have got to come out again. I'll have to sit there all night listening to you clicking. <laughs> well, what if I brought the wool already? <laughs> oh, you're practicing your knit one and pearl two. I think I'll nip round to the arches and pick up Clyde's motor. I'll see you back at the car yeah, later. Kiss me. 
Mm. See you later. Good luck, buddy. Oh, I need a drink. What's happened? Where's Grant? Banged up. What? You heard. The police opposed his bail. What? They're not letting him out. But why? I mean, I thought you said that... Well, never mind what I said. They ain't letting him out. Can they do that? They do what they want. He's gone back on remand. Well, I don't understand. You mean he's gone back to prison? For how long? I don't know. You tell me. A month, a year, for all I know. A year? Oh, come off it, Sharon. You made it obvious this morning you didn't want him let back out. It looks like you got what you wanted, didn't you? How is it? Oh, uh, Ricky said there was a bit of dirt in the car, darling. Mm. All I've got to do now... Fix the radio. Ah. Okay. Well, I went home last time. Ricky said there'd been a letter left for you. That's it there. What is it? From the court, they've set a date for me case. You're wrong, you know. What you said about me getting what I wanted. It's true. I was frightened of him coming back, but I never wanted him locked up. Not really. You believe that? Well, it hardly matters what I think, does it? Well, it matters to me. Why? Because now we could be together. That's what you want. You really mean that, don't you? At least I'm being honest. Honest? Would you rather I lied? Said I wish Grant was here, the same lie you were just about to tell me. Oh, say something. I need something to think. No, you don't. Oh, Sharon, I can't do this. All right. Just tell me you didn't think about this driving back here. Tell me you didn't think it would happen sooner or later. I don't know what I thought. Phil, it's, it's taken every little bit of courage I've got. If you turn me away now, I'll never do this again. Ever. I couldn't. Phil? Phil? <laughs> 